I have to ask you about Jerry Glanville. We go from uh, bum to Jerry. You know, we had the red gun before we had the run and shoot. I got to ask you, what did you think of Jerry Glanville? You know, we had a war on the on the radio stations for a while of people defending him. And, of course, you know, he was pretty notorious. So what was Jerry uh, Glanville to you? Well, it's, it's interesting because I'm sort of one of those guys that uh, if people don't like him, they sort of call me. Uh, to give you an idea, I did the Bob Knight show for two years, and Bob uh, and I became pretty good friends, and it was a very similar situation with Jerry Glanville. Uh, Glanville would call me at home and say, how did you uh, think I handled the news conference? And I said, well, where you cussed everybody out, that probably didn't work. But, uh, you know, other than that, uh, you know, I don't get it. I mean, Jerry was just a character. I enjoyed him. I thought it was interesting. But his one basic drawback, as far as I'm concerned, was that I went to training camps that he, where he was the head coach, and he drained the energy out of the Oilers before the first uh, regular season game. There were guys who were done before the season even started because of that combative, uh, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. You know, if you don't kick this guy's butt, he doesn't kick your butt. That sort of thing, which, of course, the league has gone completely away from in the last 15 years. So I like Jerry as a person. I thought his uh, tactics in, in coaching the Oilers were completely wrong. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.